patent foramen veil or small atrial septal defect. Echocardiogram from subcostal view showing the interatrial septum with a small defect and left to right flow across. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Red color encodes flow towards the transducer at the top and hence a flow from left atrium to right atrium. Whether it has to be called a small atrial septal defect or patent foramen veil is the question. Conventionally, PFO is a valvular opening which closes when the blood tries to flow from left atrium to right atrium. In certain phases of the cardiac cycle or during a valsalva maneuver, right to left flow of blood can occur across a PFO. This is thought to be the mechanism of paradoxical embolism and stroke in case of PFO. Left to right shunt can occur across a stretched open PFO when the right or left atrium enlarges due to another pathological condition which elevates the left atrial pressure. In this case, there was an associated ventricular septal defect, but the size of the defect and the magnitude of shunt across the VSD was not sufficient enough to produce volume overloading of the left-sided chambers. If there is spontaneous left-to-right shunt throughout the cardiac cycle, the defect is better considered as a tiny atrial septal defect rather than a PFO. The reason is that PFO by definition is a valvular opening which permits shunting only right to left. PFO shunts can be detected by saline contrast echocardiography in which agitated saline is injected into a peripheral vein. If the contrast appears in the left atrium within three cardiac cycles, it is suggestive of right to left shunt across the PFO. Transesophageal echocardiography may be better for the demonstration of PFO because of higher resolution. Transcranial Doppler studies will document these bubbles reaching the brain and hence the possibility of paradoxical embolism and stroke in case there is deep vein thrombosis. PFOs have also been associated with migraine-like symptoms. Whether these are also related to paradoxical emboli has to be considered. PFO closure has been recommended for the secondary prevention of stroke as well as for primary prevention of stroke in case of transient ischemic attacks. PFO closure device is similar to the AST closure device but differs in two aspects. The right atrial disc is larger unlike the AST device. The connecting piece between the two discs is of much lesser diameter compared to an AST device. The technique of device delivery is similar to that of an AST device closure. Device closure is done under fluoroscopy in the cath lab with guidance of device position by transesophageal echocardiography. Management of patients with patent foramina veil and cryptogenic stroke has been reviewed by Abdel Ghani and colleagues. They have reviewed multiple trials and meta-analysis of PFO device closure and given an algorithm. Common associations of a PFO are 1. Eustachian valve 2. Shayari network 3. Atrial septal aneurysm Eustachian valve is at the opening of the inferior vena cava into the right atrium and tends to direct the inferior vena cava blood across the patent for amino veil. It is a remnant of the embryonic right valve of the sinus venosus. Shiari network, also a remnant of the right valve of the sinus venosus, is a network of filamentous structures sometimes seen in the right atrium. Atrial septal aneurysm is located in the fossa ovalis region where the septum primum overlies the septum secundum. It has been implicated in the pathogenesis of cryptogenic stroke. Though there was a significant correlation between septal excursion distance and infarct volume, in a study, 12 patients with atrial septal aneurysms did not have the largest strokes. Here are a couple of relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.